guys, Tuva here, I'm back. I'm sorry about the last couple of days, but I've had so much going on and I need sometimes to have a break. Now today is Monday the 29th of August and we're nearly at the end of the summer. How awful is that feeling? That dread that September's on its way. I know some people like the fall, they like autumn but for others it's the start of going back into dark period of time. We are a waxing moon which is growing and it's in Libra and Libra is all about balance. Did you actually know that every moment of our existence we are governed by the sun and the moon? The sun is the manifestations of our lives but the moon is our inner being. It's all about how we are inside. This is why I always do the moon at the beginning but the moon is also the one that has the greater influence on us. We need to be thinking about how we feel in ourselves, not just physically, but inner being, our spiritual lives, our health. Think about how the year has gone so far. Waxing means to grow. It means to start putting stuff in. And I would say that that is like counting your blessings, what you've had so far, seeing if you can grow them a little bit more. Also a time to strengthen your relationships, to grow that love, friendship, your job, or any situation around you. So it's a very good time when it's waxing to do this. Let's now get into the reading. Let's take a couple of rooms. And we have, oh, we have, Therizaz and we have Wunyo. How strange is that one? Well, Therizaz, when you look at that, it's all about the thorn in the side, the side of you that is finding things a little bit tough, that you're wielding your power in a way that is not becoming. And so we need to look at why is there something going on around you at the moment that is causing this anguish. We have an inner power. We don't realize how we wield that power, whatever it is, the thorn in the side, which is how this room is indicated. It's about chaos and evil and temptation. What are you being tempted to do? What is causing you to be feeling this way? People don't realise the power that they have within. It doesn't even have to be a magical power, guys. It can just be your personality traits. People can get very angry very quickly over something they haven't even thought of. So how much more can you wield that power in the wrong way? Because it represents the forces of our human psyche. All the feelings, all the, the negative feelings that you try to hide the sexual feelings that you get or the anger or the enjoyment of feeling somebody's failing the little things the dark side that we push away that we don't really want to know the thorn is symbolic weapon and it can pierce stab or tear but it can also be protective. Like you imagine if you had a thorn bush and it's around your house, people will not want to walk through that thorn bush to get to your house. So it, it's also a type of protection. So are you being self-protective against somebody at the moment? Are you looking at putting those thorns out so they won't come near you? Is there a person around you that you're not happy with and you don't really want to be around them and this thorn is your prickle, it's sticking out there and they don't know till they come close, but wielding that can have an adverse effect, there is as. It can also tell you of luck coming or the loss of luck. It can be about a warning that your luck is running out. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. Don't let them deter you from what you're doing because your spiritual authority will bring your power. And so it will be totally up to you to use that power 
in your way but please try to be unselfish and loving please try not to be corrupt if you do not have the true and honest heart it will not get you anywhere it will in fact make matters worse so whatever the situation is guys just pull those thorns in and allow yourself to use your power in a more loving way for those of you that are doing this please understand that it is the nature of humans to be able to change on a whim and so it can affect anybody in this way <laughs> so getting on to Wunyo which is the total opposite and that's all about joy which is something you're gonna need after that one the rune of joy and of course it's an understanding realization within you of your success or your ambition your romance and your good health everything flourishing new beginnings blessings and your eyes opened to your own truth so it's not a bad room this one so feeling of happiness and satisfaction because you've dealt with this one in the right way you're now reaping the joy you're reaping that feeling of happiness and knowing that you're righteous in the right way it will then promote others to be joyful around you and the feeling of being happy is down to the fact that you find peace harmony and balance and that comes through being positive by changing the way that you might deal with the situation than you would have done so in a way it comes to show you that we are in two halves we have our dark side and we have our light side and if we can use that and get a balance in the middle and turn them like that to the side of each other we will see a total change in our circumstances and people will see us also in a different light so we're going to leave it there today guys and i'll be back again with the next reading tomorrow so wherever you are whatever time of day night or evening it may be i wish you the best ever house of the lang